policy and associated methods. So this is our current chapter, what we are going to discuss about. And this is session four. This is chapter number four, which is going to talk about what is software development life cycle or uh, commonly called as software delivery life cycle, system development life cycle. But these are all the process, the meaning of each of the words comes down to same. So even though if someone is using some different terms, do not get confused. On top of that, there are a lot of questions which come for the business analyst associated with these topics. What is the objective of this topic? As part of this session, we are trying to learn different software methodologies which are out there and when do we use what? What kind of a nature of the project? And according to that, you decide what software methodology we are going to use. There are many methodologies in the market, but we are going to use, we are going to learn the more common ones. And followed by that, towards the end of the session, we will have some assignments to do or case studies to do, which needs to be completed to understand the methodology in a better aspect. As we see here, the agenda for this session is that we'll learn the overview of software development life cycle. What are the what is exactly the waterfall method is all about? Then we'll also learn the RAD, which is rapid application development model. And then we have Agile, which will further extend to Scrum, which is the very latest in the market. 